What's up everyone, Roman Reigns stan account number 4526 here, and I think it's common knowledge that Twitter is the absolute hemorrhoid of the internet, basically a website where people have forgotten what it physically means to get punched in the face. You see, on Twitter, you can say the most heinous things unimaginable and not deal with the repercussions of an angry mob tearing down your door and ripping you limb from limb, but I digress. Twitter has many communities ranging from political, sports, animation, uh, furries, but on today's video, we're going to talk about the reason you clicked here in the first place, the Internet Wrestling Community, or IWC for short. Now, the IWC is a community of individuals that, well, discuss professional wrestling, basic stuff like favorite wrestlers, matches, gimmicks, memes, you name it. However, over the past few years, a small vocal minority of the IWC has pretty much turned every comment section into a complete civil war. And I wanted to talk about it and maybe hear your side of this. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. So if you haven't been keeping up with wrestling in well recent times, you may or may not have heard about a new major wrestling promotion called All Elite Wrestling or AEW for short. It was founded in 2019 by Tony Khan and since its founding, it has become the first major competitor in 20 years for the wrestling juggernaut known as the WWE. Now, a regular internet user like you and me might be saying, wow, that's actually pretty cool. And I agree. I totally agree that competition is healthy and good for the industry as it gives people an alternative and raises the stakes to build a better wrestling product. Now, if I said that statement on Twitter, I would get bombarded with comments from these quote unquote wrestling fans saying, oh, AEW isn't real competition. WWE is the number one promotion. Kill yourself. Blah, 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 blah. And since 2019, it has become next to impossible to have a semi-decent conversation on Twitter without seeing any of these comments commenting AEW in the mud or WWE in the mud. Now, if you're watching this video and you so happen to be one of these toxic Twitter users, please stop. Seriously, if I'm being completely honest, I think devoting your life on Twitter, praising and worshiping a multi-billion dollar company has to be the saddest thing I have ever witnessed. Like, let's, let's keep it real here, okay? You shouldn't let the products of a multi-billion dollar children's company affect your mental health. Keep in mind that some of these people have devoted three years of their life doing this. Three years, that is such a long time. Now, I think it's fine to support WWE or AEW online, you know, I still happen to do the same thing. Personally, I think AEW is better in terms of quality wrestling. My parents who haven't watched wrestling since the late 90s kind of agree that AEW is more grounded in reality compared to the overproduced WWE shows, but I'm not here to pick sides. Since the founding of AEW, a lot of insecure WWE fans have pretty much become the defenders of WWE and have pretty much labeled Tony Khan as the antichrist of wrestling. And people online have been saying horrible things such as, Sometimes I dream about putting a gun to Tony Khan's head and laughing while I pull the trigger. Like, bro, dude is just putting a wrestling show. Calm the f*** down. Some of these fans have also told AEW fans to end their lives following WrestleMania, such as this tweet. After tonight, AEW side rates will increase to a glorious amount. Like, like holy f I haven't seen such toxic fans say horrible things since the 360 versus PS3 days. Like, bro, this is just terrible. Like, these people have a vendetta on wanting a smaller promotion to fail. WWE just murder AEW. Roman Reigns would kill everyone in AEW if he had the chance. Like, dude, <laughs> it's just, this is so ridiculous. It's like seeing these radical nutjobs doing this online. It's like trying to burn down the local supermarket because they built right next to a Walmart. Some fans would even ridicule certain wrestlers because they are on the opposing side. Hey, Cody Rhodes, you're a sellout. Change the lyrics to your theme to, I gave it all away, I gave it all away. Your tattoo is still all elite. The Miz lives another happy day up in his mansion while Phil enjoys his crappy little crime ridden cramped Chicago apartment with his wife who doesn't even have big milkers. Oh my god, Jesus. Good god almighty. I could honestly go all day with this, but it physically hurts to even read these. There's an account on Twitter called WrestleCringe and pretty much archives these horrible takes. Link will be in the description if you want to read them at your own discretion. It doesn't even end there with random strangers saying these horrible things. There are accounts that are dedicated to hating AEW and worshipping WWE as the greatest thing since Jesus Christ. You see accounts like Gareth or Jobber Nation that are on every comment section of every AEW or WWE tweet. Like, like, dude, go touch grass. 
Now I think the biggest twist in this anime arc is that these accounts could honestly care less about the wrestlers themselves. Cody Rhodes, who was a former AEW wrestler, had recently returned to WWE after 6 years. Let's see what they had to say before the jump. It's, it's official. official. Cody, Cody Rose, Rose is a complete, complete embarrassment, embarrassment to his father, father Dusty, Dusty Rhodes' Rose legacy. legacy. What, what a train wreck of a promo. Three weeks later. Tonight, Tonight Cody, Cody just, just proved that he is a main eventer. eventer. He had a better match, match than his entire career in AEW. WWE just showed how to book the American Nightmare. Thank you Vince and WWE. Stupendous. Here's another one. All the AEW geeks really thought Vince McMahon would be wrestling at 76? <laughs> Two hours later. Oh my! Vince McMahon versus Pat McAfee? A few moments later. Dave is still wrong. If you consider Vince's involvement as an actual wrestling match, I don't know what to tell you. Dude, these people are literally working as yes men for free. Like, I have never, in the 22 years that I have been alive on this planet, have I seen suck ups as big as these people. If I were WWE, I would hire these men. I mean, these guys are absolutely killing it at being corporate suck-ups. I genuinely feel that they dumped their entire life savings and sold one of their kidneys and invested it all in WWE stock. That is how much they love this company. They are willing to do anything to please the corporate overlords at WWE. I do feel like I need to stress this out though. Do not go out and harass these people. Their end game goal is to make you mad and get their attention. I feel like that works because I'm making a video talking about this. But in reality, just to avoid the brain aneurysm, just block and mute these people. It would make your life a lot better. Trust me. In conclusion, I feel like we should all learn from this and not become a toxic pricks online. Because at the end of the day, we're all wrestling fans. If you like WWE, fantastic. If you like AEW, fantastic. If you like other promotions that I didn't mention like Impact Wrestling, New Japan, etc. You're awesome. Cool. But I honestly believe just fighting like this is giving the wrestling community as a whole a very bad look. This whole wrestling tribalism thing is kind of whack. Although I do prefer AEW more, WWE also has some good stuff like the talented stars such as Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton, and not to mention Pat McAfee as commentators, probably the best thing ever. I think the best way to stop all the wrestling bickering is to just block these clowns and move on. I used to be a part of the wrestling Twitter wars, but I feel like I've outgrown it and just accepted to like both promotions. While there are some things I disagree from both sides, it's just pro wrestling, not politics. If you guys want to share your stories about any toxic alter with these fans feel free to vent down in the comments but yeah I'm gonna wrap it up here if you like what you saw here please like comment and subscribe to my channel I like to talk about stuff I like and if you have any suggestions don't hesitate to ask also check out my patreon if you want to support me on the channel it would really mean a lot my name is Lewis and I am out